To study the solar wind phenomenon, a group of satellites were placed in a unique orbit between Earth and the Sun at what is called L1, or Lagrange point 1, a point of gravitational balance between the Earth and the Sun. The Advanced Composition Explorer, or ACE, observes energetic solar particles. Wind studies radio waves and plasma that occur in the solar wind and in the Earth's magnetosphere, and SOHO, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. Using SOHO and using technique called helioseismology, very similar to seismology on the Earth, we were actually able to see inside the sun. And so what we were able to do is see the layer of the sun just below the visible surface that we call the convection zone. And that's where all sorts of dynamics are going on. The inside of the sun is bubbling up to the surface. And that's really where all of the, the solar phenomena that we see is first developed. And so we were able to see underneath the surface and see these flows of solar plasma, see the formation of sunspots, and this is something that's never been done before. We're actually able to see the details inside of a star. Another high-resolution space telescope was TRACE. You're seeing details of the coronal loops. In the previous images you would, uh, from other satellites, it would look like it was just one big loop. And when you actually get to see TRACE, you can see it's all these teeny, tiny, finely, they almost look like threads. And there's these teeny, tiny loops, and they're just breaking off and reforming and throwing plasma. Using X-ray and gamma-ray solar flare imaging, RISI explores the particle physics behind solar flares. Another event subjecting the solar system to bombardment is the CME, or coronal mass ejection event. A coronal mass ejection, or CME, is an eruption of plasma from the sun that shoots out into space. And it could affect us here at Earth if that big ball of plasma were to hit us. NASA's twin stereo mission has one spacecraft orbit the sun ahead of the Earth and the other behind, providing a stereoscopic view of the sun to better understand these coronal mass ejections and the energetic particles of plasma. Solar energetic particles are particles of plasma that are accelerated at the flare site from the energy that's released in the flare. And these particles could be accelerated up to almost 80% of the speed of light. And a coronal mass ejection, when it's traveling so fast, creates a shock, and that can create solar energetic particles. In 2009, NASA commenced a new scientific program called Living with a Star. The crown jewel of this program is the Solar Dynamics Observatory, or SDO, the most advanced spacecraft ever designed to study the sun and its dynamic behavior. The program's goal is to develop the scientific understanding necessary to address those aspects of the sun that directly affect us here on Earth. The spacecraft provides 16 megapixel ultra-high definition imagery of the sun in 13 different wavelengths. Fortunately, we are protected here at Earth um, from flares and coronal mass ejections uh, by the Earth's outer atmosphere. It absorbs a lot of the energy from the, the increased light from solar flares. Um, but we're also protected by the magnetic field. Um, you know, the Earth has a North Pole and a South Pole. Anyone has a compass uh, knows that. Uh, but this magnetic field of the Earth also protects us from these charged particles, the plasma uh, coming from coronal mass ejections that largely deflects a lot of this direct energy. A coronal mass ejection will come and affect the Earth's magnetic field, um, and changing and hitting the Earth's magnetic field causes other changes on the actual far side um, away from the Earth that then accelerates more particles and shoots those particles then into the North and South Pole that produce these very beautiful waves of green and blue and red that are, are, are just lovely to see.